I'm Ron Rhodes. I work for the Connecticut River Conservancy. We're a nonprofit that is working with the dam owner, the town of Wilmington, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service on a dam removal project on Beaver Brook. Uh, it's a tributary to the Deerfield River. So in three to five years, when we're done and have left this site, this muddy flat that used to be the pond is going to be a restored stream, right? A little brook trout stream. So the speckled alders that are behind me, the native willow are going to be planted in here next spring. And these um, banks, these flood benches will be full of native vegetation. And so this will return to a, a natural small stream. Um, and, you know, the, the dam will be gone, the pond will be gone, and it will look like it did, you know, 100 years ago. You buy a piece of property and you have an old dam on it that you're not using, you don't think about it much usually, right? Some of, most of these old dams were built back in the 20s or 30s. Uh, maybe they were used to create a pond or a swimming hole and the current owners aren't really actively you know, involved with the dam, it's just there. And so um, they obviously don't want to spend a lot of money on a, on a dam that they're not using. Um, there are obviously uh, insurance issues with liability and whatnot. So it, it becomes a cost to dam owners. It's one thing if you're using that dam for hydropower or some active you know, function. Um, but if not, then most of the dam owners are happy to see it, you know, taken care of. And that's our job is to go out and find the partners like U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, find the grants. We spend all winter writing grants to uh, the state um, for fish passage or flood resiliency or clean water. My name is Phil Herzig. I'm with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I'm a fish biologist as well as our maintenance action team coordinator for the fisheries program and I am the project manager. What I do is I coordinate the uh, crew that we bring. We bring them in from all over the Northeast, from um, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, Maine, Connecticut, wherever they are, they volunteer to come on a project like this and we come in for a couple of weeks and concentrate our work. We work long 12 hour days, seven days a week to try and get the project done and that can be a it can be a habitat-based project like this one, or it can be a project that is um, installing a roof on a fish hatchery or putting in a septic system on a, at a fish hatchery. Whatever it is, we, we come in, try to hit it with a lot of people over a short period of time and get in and get out. We come in and do the work ourselves. We have trained uh, heavy equipment operators like the people that are working behind you. The two I have with me today are um, one's in Pennsylvania, one's in New Jersey. And they, they volunteered to come, come up for the week to work. Uh, last week we had people from Maine, Connecticut, Massachusetts, um, as well as New Jersey. We um, took an undersized culvert out and replaced it with a steel span bridge to allow uh, fish to migrate through the, through the stream, as well as the dam removal. Improving fish passage for the wild brook trout, right? So in a hot summer day, they can go upstream into the cold water. We're improving water quality, removing the sediment that has a lot of nitrogen trapped in it. We're improving flood resiliency for the town and the neighbors by removing that four foot culvert and putting in a 40 foot long bridge. In the spring and the fall, we're working usually with a lot of farmers who have erosion problems and we're doing tree plantings, buffer plantings along their river or stream. Uh, and in the summertime, we're doing big yellow machines. We're doing dam removals, culvert replacements, and flood restoration projects. So later this summer, we've got a, a flood restoration project over in Plymouth that is actually a, sort of a fix from Irene where when they came in and fixed the road, they created a berm where finally, the 12 years later, have the money to take that berm out and restore the wetland that was originally there. So again, lots of partners involved, lots of different funding sources. Um, we couldn't do any of this work by ourselves.